response to abiotic factors. Organisms, they tend to cope up with external stressful conditions in environment. For this, few organisms can do homeostasis that is maintenance of in stable or constant internal body temperature as well as osmotic pressure. Let us take an example. Suppose a boy can work with its maximum effici efficiency at a temperature of 25 degree Celsius. This temperature is maintained even when the outside climate is extremely cold or extremely hot. It is maintained at 25 degrees Celsius and the boy is working with his maximum efficiency. But in this case, if you see this the homeostasis is being achieved by artificial method instead of natural physiological method. In certain cases, certain organisms are not able to do this homeostasis for the reason that this is energetically expensive process. So where as let us understand various other methods towards maintaining this constant internal environment with subject to cope up with stressful environmental conditions. First is regulate or regulators. They maintain constant body temperature plus osmotic pressure. They are also known as thermoregulators and osmoregulators. The, good, the great example you can see in case of human beings. We sweat profusely in summers to cool down our body and we shiver in winters which is a form of exercise to keep ourselves warm. Conform or conformers. They are not able to maintain an internal constant temperature and osmotic pressure. So they change their temperature and osmotic pressure with or as per their external environment. What they do? As in case of plants, they change their temperature as the temperature is outside. And in case of aquatic life, fishes or marine animals, their osmotic pressure is changed or osmotic concentration is changed as the osmotic concentration of water is changed. As you know, heat loss or gain is directly related to body surface area. So in case of small animals, because they are smaller in size, which will lead to increased body surface area, this heat loss and gain will be increased. And further, this homeostasis is energetically expensive process. So they conform to their external environment. Migrate. Migration is temporary movement from the stressful conditions to a hostile environment and returning back once those stressful conditions are over. Suspend. Bacteria, fungi and various lower plants, they suspend in nature as thick walled spores and they germinate once the stressful condition is over and they find the favorable condition. In case of plants, not only the spores but seeds as well as certain vegetative parts, they are suspended in nature in state of dormancy and once the favorable conditions come, stressful conditions are over, they germinate. Adaptations. Adaptations is nothing but physiological as well as behavioral adjustment towards the environment. The, let us understand it through the two major biomes. In case of desert or in case of cold climate biomes. In case of desert, kangaroo rat meets its water requirement by internal fat oxidation as well as it passes urine of thick concentration so that the water loss is minimized. Opuntia, a desert plant does not have any leaves but leaves are reduced to spines and even in case of desert plants, leaves have thick cuticles so that there is no water loss as well as they have specific pathways like CAM 
so that minimum water loss is occurring and this stomata is also deeply located inside the plant. Next is in cold climate. In cold climate, you will see animals have small ear and limbs. They may undergo hibernation and usually there is a thick layer of fat present over their skin or under their skin so that they, this layer of fat provides insulation. So this is response to abiotic factors and further adaptations to survive in harsh or stressful environment conditions.